A cold shower might help you out in the heat of the moment, but taking a cold shower after a heated workout may not be so refreshing. Problems with water temperature at the Student Recreation Fitness Center have left shower stalls in the cold since last March. A malfunction of the water softener when the building was opened caused corrosion in the pipes, damaging the mixing units and the hot water converter. Director of KU Recreation Services Mary Chapel says they will ultimately have to replace the equipment which will take at least another 45 days and cost $25,000 at a minimum. We've had uh, several what we'd call just kind of band-aid fixes where facility operations has come down and tried to figure out how they can um, tweak the system a little bit to get a little bit more hot water, a little bit more warmer water coming through the system. And so every time that happens, obviously... The repairs the will be charges. paid for out of the rec center expansion money with a contingency fund for emergencies. She says students, faculty, and staff can use the showers at Robinson Gymnasium until the repairs are completed. This is not something we want to have happen because we want everybody to have a great experience when they come to the rec center. But it's just like everything else. You know, sometimes things just don't work the way you want them to work. And we have to deal with it every day and just hope that everybody will be patient with us and cooperate until we can get it, get it fixed. The rec center showers have remained open for use since the hot water went out almost a year ago.